This is a CBS 4 News update. Good morning, I'm Maribel Rodriguez. One woman is in custody after a trooper say she stole a car with people inside and crashed. It all started near I-95 and Ives Area Road. FHP says a couple of Good Samaritans pulled over to help a woman who had crashed, but that woman then jumped into the couple's truck and took off with people still inside that vehicle, including an 11-month-old baby. The woman later crashed into two other vehicles, critically injuring another woman. She was taken into custody. The baby and the other occupants of that truck are said to be okay. Twain Wade's one last dance at the American Airlines Arena is now over. He put up 30 points in his final home win. Despite the win, the Heat learned they will not be in the playoffs this year. Twain Wade will play his final game in Brooklyn tonight. When the Heat face the Nets, CBS 4's Mike Cunha will be there. Look for his live reports later today on CBS 4. And police are investigating a shooting in northwest Miami-Dade that left one man dead. It happened last night in the 2400 block of Northwest 81st Terrace. That's where Miami-Dade police say a man died after he was shot multiple times. No word on what led up to the shooting or if any arrests have been made. And two people are recovering after their scooter and a box truck crashed last night. It happened at Northwest 7th Avenue and 20th Street. Miami police say the two people on the scooter were taken to Ryder Trauma Center. We're still working to learn how they are doing this morning and what caused the crash. Now, CBS4 <laughs> weather. The front that brought the storms for Tuesday yesterday has uh, pushed away east of Florida, east of our area. However, there's still a lingering trough behind it. So a lot of cloud cover for the first half of Wednesday with a few light showers early on. And then things will gradually start to dry out and even clear out. Now with a southwest uh, to west wind today, that's actually going to help to warm things up back to the upper 80s. And those wind speeds around 10 to 15 miles per hour. Hour. Let's talk about the moisture forecast. So this is what's changing behind the front. I know we didn't get a cool down, but hey, at least we're getting drier conditions with lower humidity. So for Wednesday, that uh, moisture is departing from us. And so there comes that gradual drying with drier finally filtering in. This is going to last at least through Friday and for Saturday as well as we kick off the new weekend. Uh, today's beach forecast, it will become sunnier throughout the second half of the day. The rip current risk is low. In fact, the surf is pretty flat out there. And for boaters, no advisories today. Seas two to three feet. The bays around a moderate drop, but I think it'll become lighter throughout uh, the day and by tomorrow. Let's talk about that seven day forecast. Uh, now the story is the heat. We'll get the sunshine and lower humidity, but look at these highs by tomorrow. 89 degrees, similar Friday, and then temperatures moderating back into the mid 80s for the start of the weekend. Jen, thanks. And that's the news for now. You can always find us on CBSMiami.com and tune into CBS 4 News at 567 and 11 for all of today's important headlines.